Hello again from the French Alps. If it's your first visit to the channel, I'm Mike, and today we're taking a detailed look at the sixth climb of the 2023 Etape de Tour, the Ours category, Col de Juplan. Now you will need to watch till the end of the video to see if this is the final climb of next year's Etape. You will arrive at the start of the Col de Juplan having covered 130 kilometers and nearly 3,100 meters of climbing. As you get to the bottom of the descent of the Col de la Ramaz, you reach the little village of Tenange, and from there it's an 11 kilometer flat run in to Samoan and the foot of the Juplan. In the heat of the summer, there is usually a tailwind on this section all the way up to Samoan. This tailwind tends to build towards late morning most days during the summer months. The Juplan featured in the 2016 Etape de Tour and as you arrived at Samoan there was an extensive feed station on the left just before the start of the climb. There are no water fountains on the Juplan, however an enterprising local had set up shop halfway up the climb selling cold drinks. So the Juplan is the final significant climb of the 2023 Etape de Tour. It's 989 metres to the summit with an average gradient of 8.5% over 11 kilometres taking you to 1,691 metres above sea level. Unlike the Col de la Ramaz, it's not really possible to break the Col de Joux plan down into sections as it's brutal all the way up. I'm not going to sugarcoat the Col de Joux plan as the higher up the climb you get, the tougher it gets. Forewarned is forearmed. Just reflecting on the 2016 Etape de Tour, I started off in the third pen, arrived on the Joux plan at 10.30 in the morning and it was already scorching. We'd organised the logistics for a large group that year and they came back with tales of people walking up the Joux plan in stocking feet and sheltering under trees to try and get out of the sun. Any respite from the gradient is very brief and taking into account the average gradient of 8.5%, if it does flatten out, it's gonna get steeper later. If you rode the 2022 ATAP, then on paper, the 2023 ATAP does look a lot easier, although it still has 4,100 meters of climbing. But the key difference is this year, the event went up to 2,690 odd meters on the Col de Glibier, followed by just over 2,000 meters on the Quad de Fer, Whereas in the 23 ATAP, the high point is the Joux Plan at 1,691 metres. Very similar to the Ramaz, it's this first ramp out of Samoan that is one of the toughest parts of the Joux Plan, where the road just ramps up from 6, 7, up to 15% for this first 1.2 kilometres. However, there is good news at the top of this section, there's an 800 metre section where the gradient reduces to 3 and 4%. Onwards and upwards, the climb is facing southwest, and you can see that there is little shade. But remember, you'll have the whole road, so any shady sections, no matter how short, you should make the most of them. This is the Gifre Valley, with the Grand Massif ski area over the other side of the valley floor. If you could take a second to click the like button, that certainly helps the channel. Where the cars are here, this is where a local had set up selling drinks in the 2016 ATAP. We're now halfway up the climb and it's getting tougher. If you do have to stop for a breather, then these next two bends have possibly one of the most stunning views in the region. Towards Mont Blanc and you can see the start of the climb way down below in Samoan. Shortly after this section, you can start to see the summit. The restaurant at the top normally has Coca-Cola umbrellas outside, so they're quite a bright visual reference point to see exactly where you're climbing up to. The Joux Plan has a rich and chequered history in the Tour de France, notably Landis's Miracle Ride, and also it's the climb that broke Armstrong. This is the final corner towards the summit and the coal marker board is just on the right here. In 2016, they had a drink station on the right just past the lake. 
Now, you may think that that's the climbing over and done with, but there is a kick in the teeth just around the next corner. You descend for around about two kilometers and then you meet the Col de Ranfoli. It's only 800 meters long, but it does kick up again to 8.5%. After this final ramp, it's the drop down into Morzine and you can familiarize yourself with the full descent by clicking the link to the video up here. Our content for the Etape de Tour 2023 is growing and at the end cards of the video, there'll be a link to a playlist which covers all our Etape videos. Thanks for watching, drop any questions or comments down below and maybe we'll see you Zwifting during the winter months and we'll see you next time on Cycling in the French Alps. Oh. <laughs>